We're here in the library of the Royal Society, the UK Academy of Sciences in London, and we're going to apply a really modern piece of technology to something that's really quite old. Yeah. Here we've got some experts from the Microsoft Research Labs in Cambridge who have brought along a 3D scanner and we're going to try and scan something really very special. So this is a Kinect camera. Some of you might recognise this if you play a lot of computer games. Um, it's actually a peripheral for the Xbox uh, gaming platform. The basic idea is that you stick this above your TV, let's say, and it's able to capture your body and track your human skeleton in real time. Then allow you to use that skeleton as an input device. So you can almost throw away the gaming controller and actually interact directly with the game using your whole body. So what we've done is instead of actually keeping the, the Xbox Connect camera stationary, why don't we actually grab hold of it and move it around in 3D space and use the data that it captures to create a 3D scanner, a very cheap commodity 3D scanner that anyone can pick up and use. So we're actually researchers at Microsoft Research in Cambridge and this is a collaboration with Imperial College London and um, this is a research project basically. Um, so that's part of uh, our remit as researchers. We build crazy, wacky uh, new algorithms and systems and this is one of the systems that we happen to have developed. So we're going to take this Kinect camera and we're going to scan in the cameraman and Martin in real time. So the basic idea here is to take the noisy data that we're seeing up here from the Kinect camera, which is from a single viewpoint, it's got lots of holes in it, and the, the depth estimations are very noisy, they fluctuate. And what we want to do is take that data and stitch or fuse that data together to create a single 3D model that you could use in a CAD application or in a computer game. So we're, we've come here to scan uh, Sir Isaac Newton's death mask, which is very exciting. It looks amazing, yes. So what we're doing now is actually trying to move the, the camera such that we can capture a 3D view of the, of the death mask. I think it's all gone to plan. We've got a, a 3D scan of Sir Isaac Newton's death mask. So now what we've really come here for is to actually grab a scan of Martin's head. <laughs> there we are, there's Ma Martin uh, forever virtualized. <laughs> 